Hello, music theory class. So this is chapter 14, secondary dominant and leading tone chords. And basically it means the dominant or leading tone of something. And within a key, they can take any chord and turn it into that kind of thing. So in C major, E, G, B is the sixth three chord. And of course, A, C is the sixth chord. Now, if you take the E, G, B, and make it E, G sharp, B, that becomes the five chord of A minor, which is the six. So if you're analyzing it within the key, you would do five slash six. It's not a complete modulation to A minor, it's just the dominant, the five chord of A minor, which in C major is the six, so it's the five of six. Is that confusing enough for you? Let me try another one. A six chord in C major going to a two chord. Well, D minor is the two chord. The five chord of D minor is A major. You just take the six chord and turn it into an A major chord and you've got the five of two going to two. You could have a two seven going to five and turn it into a five seven of five going to five. So they're showing you this in the context of in a particular key, here's a chord and here's what you do to that chord to make it the dominant of another chord in that key, which is really convoluted. Basically, it's the dominant of something. So you really have to know your scales. Um, I'm going to let you read all this by yourself. And we're just going to, but do read it. And whatever you don't understand, make a little star by it. And uh, we'll talk about it. I'm going to look at this. I haven't looked at this in a while, so I'm going to look at these pages before I talk about them. But uh, let's just go over here. So on page 303, assignment 14.1, they want you to write these. So in G major, the five, seven of five. Well, what is the five in G major? Hmm, D major. What's the five of D major? A major. So you write A, C sharp, E. It's like a game. In E flat major, the five of two. We're not looking for the five of E flat major. We're looking for the two. Well, E flat major, the two is F. It's gonna be F minor. That doesn't matter. The five of F is C. A five has to be a major triad. So we go C, E natural, G. That's the five chord of F major or minor. So it's the five of two in E flat major. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Okay, A major, here's the five, seven of four. Well, first of all, what is the four? You're in A major, A, B, C, D. D is the four. What's the five of D? Look at that. It's A major. That's crazy. <laughs> A major. The four chord is D. The five of the four chord. That doesn't even make sense. That's just, I think I could be doing this wrong. You better check me on this one, somebody. B flat major. The five seven of six. Oh, it's a seven chord. So you have to make it a, oh, I see. Here's where the, here's where it is. It's five, seven. You have to make that an A natural to be a major minor seventh chord. That's what makes it not the one seven, the G natural makes it. If it was a one seven chord, it'd be a G sharp. But because it's a G natural, it's the five, seven of the four. Okay, don't cry. Um, B flat major, five, seven, six. What's the six? One, two, three, four, five, six. G minor is the sixth chord. What's the five of G minor? One, two, three, four. D major. And it's the five, seven. So you have to have a D and an F sharp and an A and a C natural. Oh, and I didn't do number two, right? It's supposed to be a five, seven. So A, C sharp, E, G. Okay. B major, the five of five. First of all, what's the five? F sharp major is the five. What's the five of F sharp major? C sharp major. So you got C sharp, E sharp, and G sharp. In E flat minor, the five, seven of four. Well, in E flat minor, the four is A flat minor. 
The five seven is E flat seven, dominant seventh. So E flat, G, B flat, and it's gonna to have to be a D natural. And that's what keeps it from being a one seven, if that makes any sense. No, just kidding. It's a D flat. The G natural is what makes it not be a one seven. I'll get this right eventually. Because that would be a minor one seven in E flat minor. This making it a major triad with a minor seventh makes it the dominant seventh of four. We're gonna do this last line together in class and you can scream then. Um, don't scream now, you'll scare your family. D flat major, the five of two. Well, first, what is the two? D flat, the two is E flat. Okay, what's the five of E flat? B flat, it's just a five, not a five seven. Now in the key signature, you have a D flat, but you have to get rid of it in order to make this the five of two. B flat, D, F. Okay, I'm gonna let you do number nine on your own because if you don't think about it for yourself, you're not gonna understand it. I'll do this one, F sharp major, the five of five. Well, F sharp, the five of F sharp is C sharp. The five of C sharp is G sharp. Ugh. So you want G sharp, B sharp, which I don't think is in the key signature. So we need to add it and D sharp. Uh, B flat minor, doesn't really matter, the five cents is gonna be a major minor triad. B flat minor, the four chord, one, two, three, four, is E flat. What's the five of E flat? B flat, ooh, it's another one of those tricky ones. But it's not gonna look like a one seven because it's gotta be a major triad. So you're gonna have to have B flat, D natural, F, and then you want your A flat. Okay, in F major, I'm gonna let you do that one on your own and you can tell me what you got. I'm gonna leave three of these. Um, and then A sharp minor, oh, saints preserve us. And then the four of a flu, flu, pia, the five of four. The four is D sharp, a D sharp minor chord. And the five of that, you have to be thinking weird, is of course, anytime you got the five of four, it's like the one chord only modified. So instead of A sharp, C sharp, E sharp, it's going to be Hold on, wait for it. A sharp, C double sharp, E sharp. I feel frightened. Uh, okay, and somebody can do this one. I'm not gonna say who I'm gonna ask for these, but you guys work these three out by yourself. We'll do these together in class, but think it through. First of all, you gotta get this. And then you gotta get that. You probably can't even see that. Okay, now here we go. Ooh, okay, these are gonna be the secondary leading tones as well. I think I can do it, I think I can. If I get it wrong, you can have fun with it. F major, five of five. Well, in F major, well, the five is C and the five of five is G. Five, seven, oh, this whole line is in F major and it's always the something of five. So the five, seven of five. Okay, well, C is the five. What's the five of five is G. So G, B natural, D, F is the five, seven. Now the seven, it's gotta start on an F sharp, right? F sharp, A, C is the seven chord of G major. That's all you need to know is, no, not G major, C major. Okay, we're looking, okay, I gotta write this down, I'm losing it. Okay, the five of F is C. So if you're gonna forget, which I just did, what I was doing, then we want B natural, 
D, F. Because that's the seven chord of C, and C is the five, so that's what we're saying. Now the seven half diminished seven is going to be B natural, D, F, and what's a minor seven? A, I think. And then fully diminished seven means you have to have your diminished seventh chord and your A flat. And the chord that's been tonicized is C major, meaning it's been made to seem like a tonic. Not tonic water, a tonic. So within a, different, within a G minor key or an F major key, they've taken another chord and given it a temporary status of being the one chord, but it's not. So in G minor, we're tonicizing the sixth chord. Well, what the heck is the sixth chord in G minor? It's an E flat chord. I'm gonna write that down over and over and over again because I, I'm easily confused and sometimes so are you. Okay. So the five of E flat is B flat. This is not difficult. Only if you get confused, is it difficult? B flat, D, F. Five, seven is B flat, D, F, A flat. I can't, I'm running out of The seven fully diminished seven. Okay, well, we're looking for an E flat. So D, F, A flat, and C flat. The half diminished is going to be D, F, A flat, and C natural. Oh, just kidding. Okay, this first one was just a diminished 7, not the diminished 7, 7. Okay, so here's where it should be the D, F, A flat, and C flat. And the rest, the rest we're doing in class. So read this chapter a couple of times. Maybe take a Tylenol before you do that. And I'll see you on Tuesday.